I am reading Daryl Eve's book, The YouTube Formula. Now I'm in TV. Why am I interested in what Daryl Eves of YouTube has to say? Well, number one, the best candidate for TV for me is someone who is a content creator. So if you are creating video content, whether you're pushing it out to um, YouTube or somewhere else, Facebook Lives, whatever, you are the prime, prime candidate for being on TV. I do get people who want to be on TV who have not made videos. And guys, you really need to be ready for TV because if your camera is shy, you're not ready for TV. So you really want to hone your camera presence by doing your own, you, you know, your own videos. So the person who is making videos is my initial prime candidate. On PSI TV, which has channel presence on YouTube and, sorry, on Roku and Amazon Fire TV, uh, we do interview for that channel, but for the most part, um, what we prefer to do is create channels for brands and put them on TV. So imagine you're on Roku, uh, you're on Amazon Fire TV, and you see that big Netflix button, you see that Hulu button, your brand button can be right there. Now, one of the biggest objections, I'm gonna call it, that I do get is, well, YouTube is free, why should I be on TV? YouTube is free, you absolutely should be on YouTube, you should. Because the goal, guys, is to get your message out. You want to get your message out and you want to be as omnipresent as is humanly possible. So you do want to be on all the social media platforms, but you should not forget TV. Guys, TV sales are in the billions of dollars every year. And at Christmas time in particular, it's one of the top tech gifts that people give themselves and give each other. A new home, whatever. Televisions, and the bigger the television, the better. So when it comes to having your content on television, it's another platform that has a billions of viewers and it is a big screen. It is a different way to consume content. It is not the same as the small screen, like on a computer or on a phone and people swipe right, swipe right. They're actually, you know, if they're not immediately hooked, they're gone. TV, the content con consumption is a little bit different. People are laying in their beds, they're in a recliner, they're on a couch, they're five feet or more away from the big screen. They need a remote to change and God forbid they can't find that remote, then they usually will just whatever is on will be on for that much longer. So the bounce rate is significantly different. Then on top of it, the way people use television is oftentimes it's just background noise. People walk in the door from their job, drop their keys, turn on the TV just to have background noise. They want to go to sleep. They don't even care what they're watching. They just want to veg out until they zone out and they'll just turn something on and just let it run. So the consumption of television is very different than the consumption of social media on mobile devices and computers. Now let's add to that, that in the past, business brands showed up on television as ads or infomercial, extremely salesy. That's where Daryl Eves comes in. As I'm reading his book, right here on page 15, I don't know if you'll see it. He's saying, if brands want to get real visibility, they have to get off TV. Now let's see how they're, he rolls down to, why do you think people uh, do, especially anyone in the age of 30, when the ads start rolling on TV, they pull out their phones and they quit paying attention. Well, actually that's the foreword of his book and the foreword was written by, I don't know, let's see. The foreword was written by Mr. Beast, okay? Well, Mr. Beast and Daryl E, since you thought it per pertinent to put it in your book, 
You are right. I agree. When it comes to ads, people zone out. Even on television, ads are the signal to go get a, a break, go, go downstairs to the kitchen and get something. Ads are when people zone out. So here I am at PSI TV, and the last thing that I do is sell ad space. I do not sell ad space. I have ad space capability, and I do run my own ads, which basically are get channel, get channel, but I do not actively try to sell ads on my channel for this reason. People do not want to be annoyed and interrupted in the show that they're watching with an ad. And ads are extremely salesy and people don't like to feel sold. So what I do with the people that I try to bring on is I kind of like, there's a new content genre that's coming to TV that's called edutainment. And unlike in the past where we turned on television to watch some comedy, some sitcom, whatever, TV is fast, brand new moving into this space. Think of podcasts on TV. It's the same kind of content that you would listen to on a podcast that's now coming to TV. We have channels like TED Talk that has a presence on TV. We have Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk having a channel. I put up a channel for Marissa Murgatroyd. She is a multi seven figure entrepreneur and her channel is Live uh Live Your Message TV. So these kind, and, and I showed in an earlier video that I made that there are other kinds of content coming to TV, Bitcoin channels, legal channels, coaching channels. I mean, if you are making a, a video content about it for YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, wherever put on your website, then you have every reason to be on TV, every reason to be on TV. And you are missing out on eyeballs. I don't like to call them eyeballs. You're missing out on people who just as much need your solution. And if you're trying to be everywhere to try to reach people and you're not on TV, you are absolutely missing out. The next thing, guys, is it is so easy to be on YouTube. It is so easy to be on Facebook. A kid can do it, which means... When you tell somebody you're on TV, it has a little bit more value, juice, punch, elevation to it because it is not that easy to be on TV. It is not free to be on TV. Therefore, you are perceived as a baller. Now, can you imagine you go on YouTube, you go on Facebook to put your content that you have slaved over, something that matters to you that you really want the world to see and hear. And then you go on Facebook and your post is there and another post comes in, bloop, your post has dropped into oblivion. And it, yes, you can, you know, pin a post to the top of the page, but when you're on Facebook and or YouTube, all this noise around your content, all these distractions around your content, when somebody clicks on your brand button, so remember, you know, um, a YouTube, uh, Netflix button, a Hulu button, your button, PSI TV's button. When they click on it, all they are zoning in on is that content. And if you do not have ads on your channel, which you don't, don't have to, and trust me, the ad companies will call you. I will recommend you don't bother with it. But when they come to your content, it's not going to drop into oblivion. There's not all this distracting noise surrounding your videos and you are brand positioned with your button right beside a Netflix, right beside a Hulu, right beside an MSNBC, right beside a CNN. That is serious brand elevation because your brand button is sitting beside these big boys. You're not buried billions of videos deep inside of Vimeo, YouTube, whatever. You're not going through some other brand channel gate to get to your content. So for example, if you're on, if even if you watch Vimeo on TV, that's a thing, you, your, if your content is there, you have to first go through the Vimeo brand gate to get to your show. We don't do that. When we create your brand channel for you, your brand channel button sits right beside the, the, the uh, Hulus, the CNNs and everything, your position, perceived position to be on par with those big boy brands, those big box brands, guys. This is a completely different experience. 
So you, we're, we're not saying, we're saying, in fact, when we introduce PSI TV, when we interview a client, we say beyond ads, beyond ads, we're not saying, come on and do an infomercial, come on and run a 30 second, 15 second, 60 second ad. No, we're encouraging you to be edutaining, bring your message in an educational, entertaining way and create shows if you can do a podcast and deliver that message podcast style you are absolutely a person who should be on tv trudy Behrman here so super simple to, to find and i do look forward to connecting with you and helping you build your brand on tv Bye.